my left, chilling with my man Key of Life Productions. Stay tuned to Key of Life Productions. Tune into Hip Hop is Real, man. Stay tuned to uh, Hip Hop is Dude. Real. They are doing some monumental things. Hip Hop is Real, y'all already know, man. Hip Hop is Real, you hear me? Right? Bro! Peace. We're here with Key of Life Productions. Uh, we have the uh, honorable and uh, distinguished Roger Stone, author, lifetime politician, entrepreneur. Uh, I heard your speech. Uh, you're coming out with a product related yeah. to cannabis. Hopefully yeah. you can share some details. And also, in hearing him speak, excellent speech, you did something I don't think I've, I've heard. You spoke about some accomplishments of Richard Nixon. Dad, I was like, whoa, he did accomplish those things. So that was, that was yeah, I think pretty it, interesting. I think a lot of people don't recognize that the 1958 Civil Rights Bill was passed only because Richard Nixon rounded up enough Republicans to pass it, the Southern Democrats having bailed out, um, for which he had a framed letter from Dr. King, which is something he's very proud of, pointed it out to me several times. He desegregated the public schools. At the time Nixon became president, 86% of the schools were still segregated in this country, and he desegregated the schools without violence or bloodshed. The Environmental Protection Agency, he reached a nuclear arms uh, limitation agreement with the Russians. He obviously opened the door to China and uh, re-established diplomatic ties with China. He ended the Vietnam War on a faster timetable than the Pentagon wanted. He saved Israel unilaterally in the 1973 Yom Kippur War. Yeah, I think he had many great accomplishments. He also had some major mistakes. The war on drugs, a giant, expensive, ignominious, racist failure. It's just been a failure. The statistics prove it. Uh, it's time now for those few hardcore drug warriors who are still out there to face facts. In the states that have legalized some form of cannabis, opioid addiction is down, opioid deaths are down, overdose deaths are down, all classifications of minor crime are down, the exact opposite of what they told us would happen if you legalize. So um, I think we're at a point where President Trump said in the campaign that he supported states' rights, that he supported the states' right to legalize cannabis at the state level. And all I want to do now is to urge him to keep his pledge, keep your promise. I think millions of people voted for him on that basis, mm -hmm. and he needs to keep faith with those folks. Mm -hmm. Now, some of the people asked this climate that allowed him to get in, well, you kind of owned it even in your speech. You gave the example of 14% to 16% was a small margin, but an instrumental margin that you and your following contributed to giving to him. So this is going to give you a little more sway, a little more swagger when you make of not a demand but a suggestion to President Trump that he needs to kind of be on board with this from a political standpoint. Is that not correct? Well, I would urge him to look at the results of the elections. Take a look at the uh, views on cannabis among those who voted for Trump. Mm -hmm. Over a third of the people who voted for him voted for him because they liked his position on this issue. They liked the state's rights view. It's only logical that if you change your views, you're going to lose those people. Uh, and then he did incrementally better among African Americans than McCain or Romney. You can say, well, what's the difference between 12% and 16? A lot. That 4% is the difference. That gets you Michigan, that gets you Wisconsin, that gets you um, Pennsylvania. Now, it's kind of a trick question. Hillary also never performs as well as Obama among African Americans. So she underperforms, Trump slightly overperforms. Trump only wins Wisconsin, for example, by 10,000 votes, but he doesn't take the beating in Milwaukee that, that John McCain and Mitt Romney took. He loses, but he doesn't lose as badly. Let me put it another way. Black folks elected Donald Trump. That's just a statistical fact. Oh, no. Now, hold up. <laughs> yeah, you need to take a drink after that one. <laughs> well, That's... only in the sense that okay, please, he, does, please he, does, he does slightly better among African-American votes than any 
Republican in the last three presidential okay, elections. But that was a pretty sweeping statement you made. But, but, it, but it does tip three states, and those three states tip the election. So you could make the case that his slightly better performance mm -hmm. among black voters mm -hmm. in three states is what swings the election. Okay, all right. I might concede that, but you own you owned helping Trump get in. You have, yes, no, I, you have no problems with I have no problems owning with it. it. So now all you're saying is we need to reel him in from your, your perspective, and, and before you even answer that, you said when you were given a uh, kind of little bio, you said you said you were kind of like a Goldwater Republican in that keep government out of your business, uh, less law and, reg uh, and regulation, correct? Yes. So you even spoke kind of gl glowingly of that era. So is would this country be better to go back to a Goldwater-style era? And, and pause a bit, because Goldwater is a very interesting time, especially for African Americans. Um, <clears throat> what attracts me to Goldwater is the idea of smaller, less intrusive government. Mm -hmm. Keeping government out of the bedroom, keeping government out of the boardroom, less taxation, less regulation, more personal freedom. To me, the cannabis issue is really about personal freedom. Uh, Goldwater was opposed to the 1964 Civil Rights Act Yes. Uh, on the basis of states' rights. Uh, and he argued that those protections were already built into state law. I didn't agree with him on that particular point. Uh, I guess what I'm saying is that over time, I think both of the parties, the Republicans and the Democrats, became the party of Wall Street. Mm. They became the party of uh, lobbyists and the special interests. And at the end of the day, both parties have, working together, have brought us endless war, mm -hmm. erosion of our civil liberties, reading our emails, listening to our phone calls, more debt, more spending, more borrowing, immigration policies that seem to me not to be working, mm -hmm. trade policies that have sucked all the jobs out of America. I don't blame the Democrats. I don't blame the Republicans. I blame the elites of both parties who working together have got us there. Let me put it another way. Bush, Clinton, Bush, Obama. Identical. Identical in every way. I would agree. They, all, would agree. they talk a better game in mm -hmm. election time. They try to sound different, but slightly true, different spin. But they brought you the same exact policies. And I had agree. we nominated Romney, nothing would have been different than we got under President Obama. Mm -hmm. One of my great disappointments is Obama could have changed the schedule one classification okay. on his way out the door, and I really thought he was going to. But he did. And then, for whatever reason, he didn't. It was right. a, to me, a missed opportunity. Yes, and I know we, we're coming to our closing moments. You've been gracious with your time. And now, when in my agreement of both those parties, and I know the central issue right now is a cannabis, is a cannabis Congress. But I say they both because the, the underclass, I think, was equally neglected under both. Yes. Especially under the Clintons when those laws that went in that put African American well, men and women behind let's bars. Let's look specifically at the 1994 crime bill, mm -hmm. which incarcerates an entire generation of black men and women mm -hmm. for the nonviolent crime of possession of small amounts of drugs. Mm -hmm. And for which the mandatory penalties for rock cocaine are more harsh mm -hmm. than the mandatory penalties for powdered cocaine. Yes. Why? Because poor people use rock cocaine mm -hmm. and rich white people use powdered cocaine. Mm -hmm. Yet they're the same substance. Exactly. If that is not the essence of racism, mm -hmm. what is? Yes. And then when Hillary Clinton says black people need to be brought to heel. Right, right. So who are right. the racists, by the way, just so you know, Bill Clinton went to the federal courts to argue for racial profiling by the Arkansas State Police. He believed that you should be able to be pulled over for driving while black. Interesting, interesting. Uh, and and uh, so this idea that that the Clintons were somehow great advocates of people of color, they used the dog whistle too when it benefited them. Yeah, and those, believe me, there's those, especially in the conscious community, have seen through the Hillary smoke screen, so you're, you're definitely speaking to. But once again, you're speaking to an audience. This is probably the first Republican, and this is from a different side. We're trying to bring you perspective so you understand the whole of the dynamics. I've it's, always considered myself a civil rights Republican. Interesting. We're the party of Abraham Lincoln. Okay, okay. We, we, this, we need to go back to our, to our roots. I think that, that along the way here, 
the party took a detour, we should be earning black votes today. If you look at black capitalism under Richard Nixon, he put more money into the community for, for minority business enterprise, for black colleges than any president before him. Mm -hmm. In fact, here's a statistic for you. Nixon appointed more black people to federal office than Johnson and Kennedy put together. That's a fact. You're probably the strongest spokesman for Nixon I've ever heard in my life. You well, because, definitely because represent he, him. Because he achieved a lot of great things and okay. it all gets lost in Watergate. Well, I will say this, and again, in these closing moments, thanks for this opportunity. O on the issue of Abraham Lincoln, uh, some of his specific comments related to black people and what he thought. So, but I know in a brief moment, there's so much that if we really get to the core and the truth, we can build a coalition that y'all would be surprised who would be in that group. I think that's true. Mm -hmm. Lincoln was a politician, let's not forget that. So politicians say a lot of things. They didn't have the last word, you notice? But <laughs> actions but actions are more important than words. Mm -hmm. He does sign the proclamation of emancipation. So you make a great case. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you Thank for you. your time. Remind me not to get into a fight with you. <laughs> okay, I I will keep keep that in mind. This is Keys of Life Production. Keys of Life Production. Great Bringing you diverse opinions from all over the spectrum. Thank you for tuning in. We continue to need your support. Nah, said she looking for the unicorn. But we'll call you when she asking who to call. Ball in the building like it's demolition. Knew that I was coming with it. Premonition. Been a minute, but I found the winning ticket. I don't know them numbers. They ain't listed in my contact. But I'm independent. Catching. One time at the big and nine to five. Don't let it go to your head in my way. Yo, I got goons in your tenement For that cabbage, let us in We kicking in doors for that cheddar man For that bread, keep toast and we'll send them in I'm with the have-nots, groupies These stroll by, I got the crack rock, boofies Damn murder ad with the stash box, hoofy Just another product of that matchbox, Lucy Hey niggas know where you rest at I stress that, cause that'll be when you be stressed at. Let's bet that. She ain't always what it seem, homie. This real talk. She ain't always what it seem in New York. Hey, yo, this nigga named Gat killed black in cold blood, broad daylight. Showered homie was shot to let the town know what May like. Black was like his brother, man. I swayed what a die for him. Put his hand on the Bible and told a lie for him. Black was kind of loyal to a fall. He let the drug. All my riches is frogs. All my